Nigeria rivals do not want us to grow bigger than them, Tunubu speaks. Is this supposed to be the news we're hearing? When we hear say don't increase the tariff on electricity. I beg a big guy. Give us the budgets. The news in detail, please. President Bola Ahmed Tunumbu B A T has alerted that PBAT has alerted that the nation's rivals do not want Nigeria to be bigger than them but has assured that the support of the citizens of the country will arrive at a good place. He made the declaration in his remarks on Wednesday night during the iftar he hosted for members of the APC presidential campaign council PCC and the Independence Campaign Council ICC at the Presidential Villa Abuja. Pray for Nigeria. Think Nigeria. This is not playtime. Let us believe in ourselves. We must ask questions. What is happening to our solid minerals? No rival wants you to be bigger than them. We must be dogged. We have to sort out our problem ourselves, he said. Tirimbo noted that the future of the Nigerian children is going to be brighter as the path to take them out of poverty has been cleared with a signing into law of a student loose reenactment bill. The only thing that can fire poverty is education. Today, I signed the bill for student loan scheme. Imagine the children of the poor. What about people going through the mud, fishing in the ponds? How do you tell their children that their future will be brighter? It is only through education that we can fight poverty. A promising future awaits our children, he affirmed. President Tunubu also used the occasion to reassure Nigerians that the economy is being steered onto the path of sustainable growth and broad-based prosperity for Nigerian families in all parts of the country. He said the economy is looking much better. Yes, we have challenges of inflation, but we will bring it down. When the exchange rate was going haywire, it looked like we were asleep. But we worked on it diligently and it is going down. It is getting better. Boring was high a year ago, but today we are re-engineering the financial landscape and our revenue is expanding and we are taking up our sovereignty and earning our respect back in the community of nations. He acknowledged members of the PCC and ICC for their rigorous effort towards his election, noting how they endured during that exercise while calling on them to ensure more. The president said, and I quote, it is your footwork and footprints that made me the president. I campaigned on hope, and you promised Nigerians hope, and a good result when campaigning for me. There are lots of expectations. I therefore have to work hard for it. There is a windy road we are traveling on. We have to navigate carefully, otherwise one ends up in the bush, and that is all I have been focused on. It is your effort, resourcefulness, and dedication that has brought us here. The results will not come suddenly. You have endured the campaign, you must endure more. And I assure you that a very bright light beckons for you and your children. Nigeria will prosper and will all reap the benefits. We will work with determination and persistence. While urging citizens to continue to have faith in Nigeria by supporting his administration to succeed for the benefit of all, President Tunubu noted that the Europe and Anambra did not get to where they are today in one day, but through persistence and hard work which teams time and consistent focus. Among the, those in attendance at the breaking of Ramadan fast were Vice President Kashim Shetima, Senate President Godswill Akwabio, and the Director General of the defunct PCC, Senator Simon Lalong. All this time, we're about the year no concerns me. All this super story when they, this city is super story when they come talk. You no concern anybody along go. The man, he does not, it is none of my problem. Have you people had the particular news? Have you listened to the news on what's it called? On uh, what's it called? Uh, incre incrementing electricity tariff. They have actually increased it too. As we are here telling me and you that ah, or more we go survive, we go survive. They are planning on making sure that we did not survive. That is what they are making sure that they do not get to survive. Hmm. Hey. Unless and until we conquer corruption, Nigeria is not likely to support South Africa. Our biggest problem is like we have a large, extremely corrupt leadership. Okay. A confused man. Does this really mean that this man have nothing to offer? I don't know. Let me talk more. There is nothing like rivals pulling us backwards. It is we Nigerians stealing billions, trillions. And how can the country move? No mind them. You come outside the Yano's dust. The yarn dust. Let me talk. I'm saying that the in the yarn dust. 
No be do see the yen. Why need why why why? <laughs> Nothing is pushing us backwards, but corrupt leaders, which you are the chief. No country is stealing our commonwealth, but people like you steal it and take it to them. The reason I'm beginning to hate the Igbos is that they don't say anything good in other tribes. God doesn't allow those kind of people to progress. Igbos will never amount to. <laughs> oh my goodness, oh, this is actually funny. Oh God. Bad luck, utter your prayer will not work. Nigeria will rise again by God's grace. Okay. Who are your rivals, Mr. Man? When you go to the market, don't listen to the noise, but face us who are there to do. Who knows that you exist? The only interest foreign countries want us want us is oil, and they use the corrupt ones among you to steal plenty and return little. If you all stop to be corrupt today, we'll all grow. Imagine all those oil and the thief. Then the thief have had the price, or even you don't even reach half the price. Make the con they buy them normal from us. Do you know how much you're going to be making? Who are the Nigerian rivals trying to steal our group? My dear, making come as I go answer question. Response of a disgusted evil wisher. It is very difficult for Nigerians to believe whatever the Nigerian leaders are saying because the project that flourishes without hitches is corruption. When Aboki be voted in and through and throw everything to the mud. Or talk like Buhari, and that is the only good reason for research and to the being. At the end of the day, this whole issue, hmm? this issue, this particular issue, see this issue like this, you know, concern us. All we want is we are talking about Naira, how the Naira is falling. Eh? Now my own is let them list the electricity tariff when they increase. If they like their safe, make them do it in. Make them put away supposed to be. Because I don't know why they increase them. I don't even want to know. I don't want to listen to uh, the price don't go up. You know, consign me. You petrol where then they see where the price go up. Now because then they still and then make price go up. They don't steal, steal billions. So we say we suppose you build refineries here and there so that we could refine our oil and stop to the export export to refine. But because they don't swear say they no go use their ear, see say Nigeria actually get better. No wahala, maybe they remain for where they Maybe they remain for where they All this all they talk about concern, like I said. You know, concern me make him go, make them go over again. Sincerely. Make them go over the law, I mean, the whatever, the increments. You know, if you work, make them do the needful. Mm -hmm. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come here with next time. Enjoy. <laughs>